day to day because I'm having a splendid day you know a little older than the last time you seen me but it's 2017 okay we got new things to do now I want to say if you're here to see the Splat Chat 101 with your main man Emilio you came to the right place okay now um we're gonna be talking about hold up what was I thinking oh yes we're gonna be talking about hidden features inside of Snapchat, okay? They like to make updates and not tell nobody, and it's very irritating. So, if you like this video, hit that like, leave a comment, share with a friend, and please, please, hit that subscribe, y'all. I ain't getting no younger. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers in 2017. Can we do it? I think we can. All right. Y'all have a good day. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to another episode of Snapchat 101 with your main man Emilio. Thank you for coming. Um, if you will notice from my last videos, a lot has changed right now. Um, there's nothing in the background because it was very distracting and I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys full attention and there wasn't anything back there causing you not to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So. Today's episode is about hidden features inside of Snapchat. They always making updates and not telling nobody. It's the most irritating thing in the world, but don't worry, cause I'm here for you. So let's get in there. This feature is hidden filters and you can only get there by going through memories, okay? They're hidden filters, I'm gonna show you. So do exactly what I do. You open up memories, we're gonna add to camera roll, we are gonna edit the picture, and you will see the new filters that are that are available to us. Okay. And I'm using Android for all those who don't know. I'm using Android. Should be available on Apple, but it may not be, and it may not be in this exact order. Okay. Let's get in there. So we're gonna swipe up, go to memories, go to camera roll. I'm gonna get this first picture right here. Edit and send down at the bottom. Tap that. Now you'll see uh, it scoots back and at the bottom of the screen to the left, there's the trash can, the share button, the pen tool, hit that pen tool. All right, here we are. So you see the picture has popped up. Now what I want you to do is pay attention to the top of the screen because there are new menus. There are new menu options. So here we are. You'll see the line that I drew under all of the new tools. This tool to the top left, the furthest one to the tool, that little paint brush thing, that is the brand new filters. Now everybody already knows these other tools, the scissor tool where you cut out an object and you make a sticker. Bam. And that should make a sticker of my head. Okay? We've already went over that the last time, all right? So we can go ahead and throw that in the trash can. Now, to the left side of it, I click that button and here are the brand new filters that are only available if you upload and edit a picture from memories and from your camera roll. So you upload it using memories, you do it from your camera roll and you'll be able to edit the picture. So here are the new filters. And they do take a little bit to load each one each time, but you have so many crazy options available here and I don't understand why Snapchat doesn't put those filters in regular snaps so that we can do some crazy stuff because I got a couple of favorites and it's number five, number seven, and number 16. Those are the best ones. So here's number four right here and we're about to get to my favorite number five. It's crazy and you can see there's so many options here. Oh, that shit looks tight. Oh, it's super tight. We're gonna go over to number seven though. I'm not gonna go through all of these just Show you those beginning ones and then my favorites. So it was five, here's seven. And you know, it doesn't work great for everything, but for some of the stuff that I've used it for, they have worked just so beautifully. And I love them. Yeah, and that's a cool one too. So yeah, we'll do one more. We'll do one more in the end. But these are the hidden filters that are inside Snapchat for those of you who don't know. Okay, they're all hidden. And I'm gonna back out of here and I'm gonna do this one more time for you. Uh, let's discard those changes. Let's go back out here. All right, y'all. Y'all saw it? We're gonna go through one more time so that you're not confused on what's going on. We gotta upload to from memory. So we open memories. We grab something from the camera roll. We gotta edit it. And when you edit it, you'll see the brand new tools. Now, if I take a picture right now, I'll take a picture right now. You'll see the tools. That tool does not exist. 
for some reason, Snapchat has not given that tool to us. And when I swipe over and I use all these filters, the color filters and this and that, they're not available. I don't know why. I do not know why they're not available, but they just aren't. So you'll open up memories. We will go to camera roll. I'll add this first picture right here. Edit to send. Edit that. Okay, hold up. Let me back up right quick so you didn't do it too fast. Edit and send at the bottom of the page. Then we'll hit the pen tool at the bottom of the page. And now you'll see at the top, you'll see that very new tool. You simply tap that. You put something on and then you got your blue button down there and your share button and you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Beautiful. All right. I hope you guys learned something. Um, a lot of you might already know about that tool. I don't know. I didn't know about it. I was uploading something from memories and then all of a sudden, you know, I was going to edit it. And then I seen this tool and I say, hold up. I don't recognize that. What is that? And then I touched it. You know, I like to break stuff. I know a lot of people don't hit extra buttons because they're afraid they might upload something to their story. They didn't want to get on the story or delete their whole account. Trust and believe you can always come here and all, I'm always going to be trying out new features and I keep my app updated at all times. And I am a beta tester, which is why I get new updates on the regular. OK, I get them updated at the time I can. You can only be a beta tester if you're on Android and you can apply. I don't know if they'll accept everyone, but they accepted me. So I'm good to go. Um, I hope you guys like that video. Please like it. Uh, leave a comment. Please share it with some friends that would love to know about these features because those filters are super tight. And please, please hit that subscribe. It's 2017 and I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers. Um, <laughs> I know we can do it. I know we can do it because the growth has been there. You guys have been supporting me this entire time. And I love all of y'all. And thank you so much. Uh, have a great day. See you.